Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you a really easy DIY hair oil that you can make. I really like applying an oil like this to my ends and length daily to keep my hair frizz free and to help prevent damage and just to keep my hair feeling silky and soft um, throughout the day. So all you need is whichever oils you want um, and obviously a container to keep the oil in. I'm using a little dropper bottle but you can use whatever you have on hand. The first oil I'm using is grapeseed oil and I like grapeseed oil because it's high in vitamin E and antioxidants and it's also a very lightweight oil. And then next I'm going in with avocado oil. This is another one of my favorites for preventing breakage, for nourishing the hair, and it's also high in oleic acid so it actually allows the oil to penetrate the hair shaft more easily and this has just always been one of my favorites. And I added in some jojoba oil because it's very similar to the natural sebum our skin produces so it's very easily absorbed into the skin and hair and it's really lightweight. Then I added some argan oil as well which is one of my favorites for preventing breakage and preventing frizz. It also just helps to boost shine and again it's a really lightweight oil and then I added some macadamia oil which also prevents tangles, prevents frizz and prevents breakage. Finally I added a few essential oils that I like. Um, I chose bergamot, lavender and rosemary because I like the way that they smell together. If you want to use this oil on your scalp you can use different essential oils that are a little bit more stimulating. Um, rosemary is still really good for this or you can even add peppermint and tea tree oil. Just make sure that when using essential oils you're properly diluting them. As for your carrier oils, the measurements don't matter too much. Just base the measurements off of your preference and of course the size of the container you're storing the oil in. And now you have your own DIY hair oil. You can use this on dry hair daily, you can use it on damp or wet hair if you'd like. You can apply it to your scalp if you have dry or itchy scalp. And of course, if you don't have some of the oils I mentioned today, that's absolutely fine. Use whatever you have on hand and what works for you. Even if it's only like two oils, it really doesn't matter. Um, just use what you have available to you. I mainly like to apply oils like this to my hair when my hair is dry, so first I spray in some lightweight leave-in conditioner just to add some hydration back into my hair, and then I will go ahead and add a few drops of the oil on top to seal in the hydration and to lock in the moisture and keep my hair looking nice and soft and shiny. After I apply some oil to my hair, I usually like to braid it or put it in a bun, especially if this is before bed. This just further prevents tangles, breakage, and it gives my hair some time to soak up the oil we just applied. And that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you found this easy and relaxing to make. Let me know in the comments if you tried it out, what you think of it, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!